Now, we all love a good fact. So how about this? I'm not sure it is a really good fact, but it's quite interesting. I didn't know it. No. Norfolk <laughs> has more ponds than any other county in England. There are about 23 of 23,000 of them on farms, and they really are important for wildlife. Over the last 50 years, they've either been filled in or neglected, but now there's a campaign to breathe new life into them. And Mike Liggins can tell us more. Mike. Hi, Susie. Yeah, there's a project, and volunteers from the project have been here today. They've gone off to a barbecue now, but they've worked hard. This place is called Double Pit. And when we first came here this morning, it didn't look anything like this at all. It was all covered in. I certainly wouldn't have been able to stand here. At half past 10 this morning, double pit looked like this. From our drone, all you can see is a clump of trees, nothing more. But a dozen volunteers from the Norfolk Ponds project soon make a difference. Three chainsaws, a digger, and some good honest tool help to clear the scrub and let the light in. Norfolk's just packed full of ponds, so the idea is that we, um, we're, we're trying to enact conservation in Norfolk on ponds. They've kind of been forgotten about, so we want to uh, get Norfolk ponds noticed and get conserving Norfolk ponds, because as you will, you will see, you know, they're an amazing resource for conservation, yet we're, we're not really using them. Why are there so many ponds? Well, from the 17th to the 19th centuries, Farmers dug pits for what was called marl, a limey clay to put on the land. And of course, the water was useful too. Now, the Norfolk Ponds project is aiming to restore 50 ponds this autumn, and they want others to do the same. The project this autumn is called the Big 50, and although we're doing our usual pond restorations now and demonstrating how easy it is and what you can do, and we're hoping that more people might like to get involved. So we've got a website, the Norfolk Ponds Big 50, and each uh, pond will have its own page. You put, so a the, microphone. you put a microphone under the water, yeah. and you're just listening to the sounds that um, anything in there might be making. One of the volunteers at Hindelveston is Jack Greenhalgh. He's doing a PhD in bioacoustics and has been listening to what's going on in the ponds before and after. Before restoration, nothing. After restoration, well, all sorts, really. Those first quite brittle sounds sound like a wood block. They're insect sounds produced by maybe uh, water beetles and back swimmers and things like that. And then the lower frequency sounds, um, we think they're probably made by fish. It's amazing what progress the volunteers make. By four o'clock this afternoon, this is the view of Double Pit from our drone. The Ponds Project has University College London and the Norfolk Wildlife Trust as partners. To find out more online, search for Big 50 Ponds. So you might be thinking that some of this work looks pretty brutal. Well, the projects say they only really need to take away what they need to. And here they've left these lovely old oaks. So with a bit of luck, wildlife will soon be returning to double pit. Back to you. I think they deserve their barbecue after all that they hard do, work. Don't they? That bioacoustics was amazing. <laughs> I love We'd that. never heard fish like that before, have we? <laughs> and you've got a fake pond for your well, ducks. We had, for our ducks, we had to create our own little paddling pool type pond. I think it'd be easier to have fake ducks. <laughs> I think they prefer a real pond. <laughs> Some weather, Alex. Thank please. you very much.